and good morning on this fry up fry up friday ah, actually it's friday because uh we are on no, no no i won't actually say where we are cut and good morning happy fry up friday Ooh. hello from the cat it is a very nice friday i think it's meant to be raining at some point though so we need to uh why, why do i keep doing that Yeah. Good morning, happy Fry Up Friday. I've already had mine. Hope uh, hope you've had yours. It is a very nice Friday, and today we are doing a porch. So this may look a bit familiar because if you remember, we did we redid all this drain work here. And there'll be a little banner up there to show you. If you've not seen that video already, be sure to check it out. Sizes? But, hmm? Got sizes. Sizes? Yeah. What? 1420. I've not even started yet. Alright. <laughs> right. Let me know when you're ready, I'll tell you. There you go, I've got me, me and Phil here. But yeah, so, today we're doing a porch, which is going to be out here. Do you want to give us some measurements? 1420 projection. Which is a full full length window frame door, and then there's a pillar return. So we've got the cavity wall, another flag frame, corner post, 2.1, 14, 20 back to the house, and it should work out that the, the cavity wall, the, the block work runs flush there. Then you've got the cavity wall either side. That frame's coming out, and then we're raising the floor level in that porch to the house level. Just show them the uh, doorstep. We're going to level that through to the whole porch. So once you've added that little, this, once, once this is out, it's going to be a nice big porch. That. I'm going to do a little uh, step then as well for the door. We're building a step for them to get in and out, yeah, because it's, we're coming up higher than that. Yeah. This is like a stone porch. They've all got them on. They never had doors originally. They just had a like a little vestibule, if you like. But everyone's put everyone's put their frames on a yeah. like stone porch. So we're going to put a proper porch on. And uh, those measurements bring us to 2.97 square metres. It's got to be under three metres for a porch on permitted development. <coughs> I see, it's a lot of big words. But um, yeah, uh, we have a time set for concrete as well, so we need to haul ass. I think it's due at three. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. And the time now is... Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So, but I've had me, I've had me bacon butty, I'm ready to go. That, that is a uh, cheeky coffee. So we're going to obviously get started with there, uh, get these flags up and then get digging. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad because if you remember right, that dig wasn't too bad. So hopefully that translates here. And the depth we've got to go below the bottom of the pipe. Yeah. We can't be above the pipe because that pipe goes into the manhole. Mm -hmm. You've got to be below the inverted pipe. <coughs> So it could be a big dig. We'll get you set up on tire laps, excuse me, and we'll uh, get cracking.
So, as you can see, decent start so far. The ground is as we remember, it's a lot of good hardcore. And as you can see, these flags have been put in nice and proper. So, there's plenty of dab in there. No, except our flag. <laughs> yeah. But um, all this we're going to be reusing for the hardcore when the slot goes in, that's why it's all to this side. The rest of it with the clay going in the skip. And obviously, as Dad said before, we've got to make sure we go under this pipe. So, is that so it doesn't like put pressure on the pipe and crush it? Yeah. So, I think it's not looking too bad so far. Is there any, is there any wood? So, look on. Look on wood. So, yeah, I'll get you set back up. Just a little update to show you the progress. And, yeah, we'll uh, get cracking. Be a good thumbnail, that. Yeah. Right, and here's a little progress update. Beyond all this rubble, that's our finished uh, depth because there's the bite, pipes, there's the pipe. So once we're at the bottom of them, that's our finished depth. And if you look carefully, that connects onto our handiwork from the last time we were here. There's our, our pipes. Very nice. But um, because there's all these pipes here, we're going to shutter it off and just put some lintels down. Other than that, Hopefully there's no more pipes over there. There might be a jerk and the gas will pop up on the other side. Yeah. And so, the water. So we'll just have the gas and the water to uh, block off. But we've got uh, some plastic pipe to... Sheath it. Yeah, to sheath it. So that, that'll be all good. But yeah, so it's looking good so far. What time is it? Pretty deep. Half eleven, so... Should... 
I was thinking we go into the bottom of that pipe, but it's got a fall on it. That's good. So probably about three inches deeper than I was expecting. That's good. Yeah, so hopefully we'll definitely have this out before three at least. Hey, we're gonna have it out before three. Concrete coming at three. Yeah. There is no way for but. So yeah, we will catch you in a bit. Very yucky. Yeah. Not as dry as I thought it was going to be. So, a little progress update. The uh, battery was dead, so we couldn't film much, but while we were charging up, Dad's got all the shutter in, so that's all ready. And we've given it a bit of a step up as well, so some concrete can go underneath. So there will be some continuous concrete. And we've found gas and water, and Dad has just cut these for us now. So these are to protect it from a uh, concrete. Clip them on, and we're gonna get some tape and tape them up when we can. How did the water go on? Fine. Oh good. Water's a bit iffy because it's a lead pipe that's all bendy, so... Is 
we go. That bucket I broke. Covered. So let's just go get them two cuts done and then I've got to just get the rest of this up and then we should be sorted. And there we have it. Oh, taped up. Dug out. About 95% ready. All we need to do now is get the levels and get them there, get the uh, pins nailed in. And then we'll be ready. It's on the book. So, it was a it was a good dig, I would say, all things considered, especially because the last dig was uh, from hell. Probably had to dig another, like, what? Probably double that for the last time we did a dig. So this was uh, a bit nicer. And not as many pipe issues as we thought it was going to be either. But yeah, so, once Dad's finished punching some numbers in, I'll uh, get the laser level set up and get these pins marked in. Then we'll be ready for the uh, concrete. I think it's half past now, so got half an hour so catch you in a second okay do you say it was half two but it's like a quarter two now right so quarter to three so concrete's imminent um there you go we're going for a full fill on this so it works out about a cube the as alex showed you the pipes are protected i'm going to concrete over there there's the house foundation so we've come a good eight inches below that solid clay um, and it drops down a little bit underneath to get the concrete to flow through bring this cube up here and this section here going to be bringing solid up, bring it up solid concrete we're just going to put our levels in now as Alex is setting the razor level up we're going to have two 15 mm lintels to span across there and then they come across there and then we're going to have two shorter lintels to span across there so we're going to have lintel with a lintel on top so that means you have to keep the concrete down of course to allow for the lintels. We're only using 4x3s because it's only a 900 span and it's only like 10 quarter of brick on top. So oh, this side is going to be mainly lintels. All this gets backfilled again. Just put a load of shit in there just to stop the, the board popping. So we're going to put a couple of screws in this and we're going to put the levels in. Um, I just thought the camera would go and do that again. <laughs> it's never beat that loud before. Yeah, so um, that's it. Yep, we're working. All right. Do you want to get set up while we yeah, do we'll this? Yeah, get it on the time. Right, we were time lapsing this, but I decided to film it just to show how much loads of people have laser levels, but people who haven't got the laser levels or are thinking about it or think they're no good. Just watch this. Laser level set up, it's self leveling. So. We've just we found our data. data. That's our levels that we're starting off from. Mm -hmm. So the level gets put on there. See it forward there. That's it. There you go. So the, what you do is you put your level on and you adjust that until you get the, the line. So that now is level with that. So basically, there we go. So now as Alex done that, we slide a nail in there. Okay. She's in the clinker, which is absolutely no good. Normally we'd have a spray to uh, mark this so we could see it with a big red line, but we uh, have misplaced our spray somewhere. It's probably in the garage. Usual place, right? In that corner now, then. Yeah. You're about to call me Ken. Mate. Can you stand back? That's it, keep it arm's length. Get it against the clay. Well, my apologies. You notice the receiver has a little wind on the back as well. Okay, so flat line, so there's our nail, come on. Don't know what's in there, but that's great, that. Just grab that a sec, Alex. Oh, just do me a favour, measure to the nail. Put one here, won't you? Huh? Measure to the nail for me. What depth have we got? Um. Uh, I'll edit this bit out. Hopefully that's six. Eh? Six hundred? Nowhere near. What is it? Four seventy. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, the cube should be spot on then. That's it. Four seventy. So there's still two foot of concrete going in this. We're going to mass fill it. Oh God, my legs. Ooh. Oh. 
can avoid a cave in. Should maybe do that again, please, mate. Yeah, 520, 510, it's coming down a bit now. Well, this is only where the door is, isn't it? So it's not taking any weight. It's still plenty deep in the flat. Oh, it's, yeah. You've got nine inches onto the old foundation. Yeah. And we're going under it a bit as well. Okay, next one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the last one. Yeah, go on. How's that for a guess? Yes, nice guess. Okay. So just as we got all them levels popped in, concrete has arrived. So perfect time into the second. So we're just gonna get this thrown up, thrown up quick, and then get you set up so you can watch the concrete going. There we go, concrete company done and dusted. In half an hour. Yeah. Nice straightforward one. They, they just tipped it in here and we spared it into the two little pods. We got a full barrel for there and it wasn't enough, so we're, we're a split short. So um, there's a couple of neck of flags there, so use them just to bring that level up for our lintels. So yeah, I'm going to nip off to get the lintels from Fairwoods and Alex is going to tidy up and load a few brick out for this end. In fact, you can load this side out as well if you, if you get up to it, because I wasn't going to load it because the concrete, but it's done now, isn't it? And just have a clean up of the concrete on the naked flags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Alex is sending me off to get the gear, but he up, and then we can go straight home then. And we can come straight here in the morning with the lintels. Um, I'm going to go to Ros Bottoms in Skem and pick up half a ton of sand later on when we get back. Should we get back in time? If not, we'll go in the morning. So, yeah, there you go. Got a little pad here which is connected to this main section underneath. Got the pipe running over the top. The backfill is all the shite because that's my what goes in there. So 250 mm let's go from wall right to the edge of the footing. So we've got a good over 200 seats on each side and then we're going to have two shorter lintels come off this side. And that's it. The rest of it straightforward. Um, 1100 opening with a return and then all brickwork. We've just got to speak to the customer and see what side, what height dwarf wall they want on the porch. So yeah, we'll um, catch you in a bit. There you have it, that is one foundation ready. Go for brickwork tomorrow, which I'll be loading up on There we go, that was a, not a bad day. A lot of rubbish, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of crap. You wouldn't think all that was in a porch, but Hey ho, but it's all in, it's ready for tomorrow so we can get blasting so thank you very much for watching it, if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a like and if you want to see more or you're new to the channel be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell button so you're always notified when we upload. It's a massive help and we greatly appreciate all the help that we get for this channel so this has been Brickling with Steve and Alex, my dad wants to ask a question. If you like the video as well, share it with people.
tell other people about us. And we'll see you in the next one. Please.